Hello and welcome in Federated Learning in TensorFlow by Pact. My name is Kuba Konchin and I have been programming since right 1995. And I've started to build a bit more complex systems since 2006. And my first experience with machine learning is when I was asked to actually create a little bit of code to predict real estate prices for one of the startups that I was working with. And needless to say, this was a terrible experience because, you know, I didn't know what I'm doing and I didn't have a lot of time to actually jump into it and properly understand it. And, you know, I felt miserably. But after a while, I decided to actually jump into it and see, okay, what did I actually wrong to actually understand a little bit more about how machine learning works. And this turns into, you know, a lot of different experiments, developing a lot of courses, to actually, you know, learn and understand, to also transfer this knowledge to other people, especially beginners. So let's have a look at the course overview. So we have five sections in this course, and we'll start with just introducing the main concepts of federated learning, especially why it's important nowadays, and why do you really want to know more about it. And federated learning has a very fundamental benefits that we can use in nowadays environments. So this will be section one. And also in section one, we will just quickly install all the necessary tools that we need for the rest of the sections. Then we'll jump into a very specific example in section two. We will do the image classification using TensorFlow Federated, and you will see the basics of actually running a federated learning computation, how to build it, how to prepare the data, and also how to use it to train your model. And just by going through this example, you will understand the basics of how it all works. Then in section three, we'll switch to different kind of model. And this time we'll be working with recurrent neural networks and we'll be doing the text generation model, or we'll be training the text generation model in TensorFlow federated fashion. Then we'll switch to kind of a mixture of two previous sections. We'll do the text classification and to be exact sentiment analysis. And we will try to implement that right from the ground app based on the standard IMDB dataset that you can find in Keras. And we'll end with section five. We'll explore what's currently available in TensorFlow Federated and what we need to have next to actually make it a practical solution. And, you know, what else do you need to actually incorporate it in your own project? So we have some prerequisites for this course. And the main one is that you have some experience with Python 3. Our code examples are pretty simple. So I'm pretty sure that any level you will be able to, to understand it. And if not, I'm pretty sure that you can just jump into just clarifying for yourself this code examples. So some work in Python free knowledge is acquired. Then also we'll stay inside Keras TensorFlow environment. And also the TensorFlow Federated API is quite similar to TensorFlow in general. So those are pretty simple high level APIs. So have some experience with Keras in TensorFlow. And the last prerequisite is that since we'll be actually running the examples in command line, you have to have ability to just run those. And this is simply the skill of running the simple Python scripts. So that's pretty much it. Can't wait to get started. And I hope to see you soon in the course.